A longtime staple of Spider-Man's Rose Gallery, the Lizard is about to return in Spider-Man No Way Home. And like the Sandman, we thought this could be a great time to talk about the comic book origin of this character. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about Kurt Connors, the Lizard. Now before we dive in though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. Also, the huge giveaway. We got a PlayStation 5 to give away at 25,000 subscribers. All you need to do to get in on our giveaway is be a subscriber and leave us a comment. Also, while you're at it, make sure you check out that free week of Skillshare down below. It's a spectacular way to develop all of your superhero skills for that never-ending war on crime, all while not diving too deep in your pocket. Plus, it really does help the channel, so we really appreciate it. Well, we are on the final countdown to Spider-Man No Way Home, and we know we are about to get a plethora of Spider-Man villains in this film. Now, we already talked about the Sandman. There's a link to that down below. And now we're going to talk about one of Spider-Man's most physically powerful villains, the Lizard. Now, most villains have multiple versions of their origin story, so we're actually going to focus on the very first time he appeared in Amazing Spider-Man number 6, and then that was expanded a little bit in number 44. In the comics, Curtis, Kurt Connors, started his career as a doctor in the U.S. Army, but an explosion took his arm and led him to becoming a research scientist. Like anyone would, Dr. Connor sought to reverse his tragic accident, and this led him to the study of reptiles and their ability to regenerate lost limbs. Invigorated by his research, Connors moved his lab to Florida, the Florida Everglades to be exact, where he studied reptile DNA, eventually developing a formula that would regenerate limbs like many reptiles are able to do. After he successfully tested it on a rabbit, he recklessly tested it on himself, even after his wife warned him not to. And it actually worked, but not all was as it seemed. Yes, to his amazement, he did grow back his lost arm, but the consequences were yet to be seen. Shortly after, he transformed into the Lizard, terrifying his wife and child and creating havoc with the locals in Florida. But because he did not maintain his mental capacity, he wandered off into the Everglades Swamp. Now eventually, word of this lizard man made its way to New York and the Daily Bugle. After learning of the creature's existence and being challenged by the Bugle's own J. Jonah Jameson, Peter Parker headed to Florida in search of the creature. He actually sought out a local reptile expert, Dr. Gert Connors. The initial encounter with the lizard went poorly for Spidey, and the lizard actually threw Spider-Man almost a half a mile through the swamp before the melee ended. After gathering his faculties and pride, he stumbled upon the Connors family home, and found Kurt Connors' wife sobbing. She actually reveals the full story to Spider-Man, telling him the whole tale and how her husband Kurt was actually the lizard he was battling. As many of us know, Spider-Man's alter ego, Peter Parker, is somewhat of a scientist himself. Well, at this time, at least a student of science. And he uses Connor's own lab to develop an antidote to the serum that transformed him into the lizard. Although the lizard does steal the formula from Spider-Man, Spidey eventually tracks him down and forces him to take the antidote that returns him to his human form. Sadly, this doesn't hold because eventually the lizard returns, but mutates at this time, keeping Connor's intellect level and seeking to turn every person on the planet into a lizard creature like himself. Obviously, this was foiled by Spider-Man once again. The Lizard is a powerful foe and able to take down Spider-Man should Pete make the smallest of mistakes. He has superhuman strength and agility, but he also has sharp teeth and a powerful tail capable of crushing concrete. He is as capable in combat as anyone in Spider-Man's rogues gallery. A longtime villain of Spider-Man, the Lizard has a massive history in the comics with the Web Slinger and is set to appear once again in the upcoming Spider-Man No Way Home. So, what do you guys think? How do you feel about the Kurt Connors, Lizard, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde style story? And, how much responsibility do you put on Kurt Connors himself for seeking to repair his arm? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you're not going to get any updates. Peace.